Ndi wano ndoza we wanja kalanga Zijukira we wambita Bambi zijukira we wamatizanga uh, We're on the set for the video shoot Omkwano Gwenda How do you translate Omkwano Gwenda loosely? I can't get the direct translation but it's like the song talks about sort of like the first cut is the deepest kind of thing you know that first love that oh, never goes away everywhere you go everyone you date you keep comparing to that person and you keep saying will I ever get that kind of love again it's, it's a bit ironic because you know you're already with someone else or you've moved on and you shouldn't be thinking about your past but you still do I guess because it was that good um, and you're hoping you'll get that kind of love again <laughs> Give us a brief food. You're eating, you should just eat that. You don't soup. So carefully, you then you don't have a dish. Action! introduction he's an actor top actor and I'm just so honored to have him in my video so he's you know giving me some lessons here and there I'm learning a few things by the time I'm done with this video I might just be your next top actress you never know <laughs> we are here with Juliana a music and drama when they combine I think we definitely have the best of the stories oh we can achieve it You know how it is when your man comes back home late at night with his tie untied and his jacket is off and he's unbuttoned. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, so that was one of the scenes in the video. It's going to be interesting, I think. Um, tried and tested my acting skills. Don't know how I'm doing. You tell me. <laughs> Honored and humbled to be in her presence. Wow, the pleasure is all mine. Yes, we wanted to surprise you. No. <laughs> I love, I love, I love you. scenes actually in between here but uh, this is another one in the living room um, what time is it six it's six o'clock yeah and we started as early as 7 a.m and we were up by like 4 a.m 
so everybody's tired on set but you know we're just trying to push through so we can finish um so this ball was plain and we yeah. needed to kind of make it pop okay so yeah we printed these photos we took this in the morning okay um it adds that personal touch yeah, yeah. I'm sure we all remember what happened in November. I think that was 24th or something like that. It was a dark, dark day and my memory is still fresh of what happened, as I believe you all are. Um, we lost a lot of people on the waters and um, many people had relatives on there, um, many people had friends, I had people who lost wives, husbands, who had all, you know, gone to be on this boat cruise, uh, not knowing that some of them wouldn't come back alive. I knew a couple of people who were on it, some survived. Unfortunately, one of the people who were very close to me passed away on that cruise. His name is Brian Dory that many of you know as Chuck. And um, Chuck was special to very many people. He had a lot of friends and I was one of them. I think I met Chuck in <clears throat> 2015, if I'm not mistaken. Must have been the beginning of 2015, I think. I remember I was looking for a stylist. I had a photo shoot coming up or something like that. And I was looking for a stylist. And, uh, you know, I went online and you look, looked around, looked at people who do that. And somehow Chuck caught my eye. He seemed to have the kind of things that I like. He seemed to have the kind of taste that I like. And so I, I looked for him and got in touch with him. And I remember meeting him. And the first thing that the first thing that caught my attention was his personality. He was very warm, he was very kind. He was, he was definitely not what I expected. You know when you're meeting someone for the first time you think, okay, he's probably gonna have an attitude, he's probably gonna... He was the sweetest person I'd ever met. It's like I'd known him for years and immediately we started talking like we'd, like we'd known each other for so long and uh, for someone I was meeting as a stylist, he actually ended up being very good friends. We, were, we became very good friends. Um, so from 2015, we started working together. He would style me for everything, from photo shoots to video shoots to events. 
even casual stuff, you know, when I'm looking. He was sort of like my personal shopper as well. If I was looking for something in particular and I can't find it, Chuck was just a phone call away and he would bring it and it would be more perfect than what I was even looking for. It's like he knew me so well, he knew me too well. You know, if I was looking for the perfect fitting pair of jeans, Chuck was the go-to guy. Every day I wear something that reminds me of him because he bought me a lot of things. Um, many of you have seen my new video. It's called Omkwano Gwedda. We released it a couple of days ago. And um, why I'm talking about Chuck is because, again, he was styling me for that video shoot. Like I said, he styled me for almost every shoot I did, pretty much. And um, I remember it was a very long day. We started at 7 in the morning and went on till 1 a.m. It was a very long day. And Chuck was there throughout the day. I keep going back to that day because we had such great moments throughout the day. You know, during, especially during our you know, lunch breaks and tea breaks. I remember him cracking jokes throughout the day. I remember him dancing. He loved music. I remember him playing music throughout the day. And um, the thing that really stands out for me was how he was making fun of me and almost getting pissed, by the way, because he always did with me because I never update my apps. Like, I take long to update my apps, and it, he always hated it. So every time he would come and ask me, oh, have you seen this new app? Or have you seen this new uh, whatever, whatever? And I don't know about it, he's like, ah, come on, no way. I told you to update your app, bring your phone. And then he would get my phone, like he always did. He got a hold of my phone and started updating my apps. And he's so particular with those little things that when we would meet, he would want to take selfies and stuff. And then, he, you know, he always wanted to tell you to use my phone. And so he got my phone, started cleaning my camera. He was a lovable person. Like, it was so hard not to love Chuck. And, um, but all in all, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely thankful for having met him. He's one of those friends that you just never forget. You know, that leaves a mark in your life. Because he was just so special. Um, and I'll always remember him. But most of all, I'm thankful for for being the person that he was to me. I've, I've worked with so many people and, and people will disappoint you here and there. Chuck never took our friendship for granted and that's the thing I admired, you know, when it came to him. It breaks my heart that when he passed, I was out of the country. I was not able to escort him to his final resting place as I would have wanted to. And that breaks my heart. One of the things I remember about Chuck is that he loved beautiful pictures. Not just beautiful, he loved perfect pictures. And um, one of the recent memories I have was in Tanzania. When I went to Tanzania recently, I had a performance there. And I remember taking a selfie. And as soon as Chuck saw the selfie, he actually called me. <laughs> he told me, Oh my God, I like the selfie. Oh my God, you look so good. I like the selfie. Okay, but here's the thing. I want you to wait for the golden hour. And I'm like, what is the golden hour? Never heard of it. I was like, no, no, no. You know when the sun is going down in the evening? Yes, that's the perfect hour in Tanzania to take pictures. I was like, Chuck, you're so obsessed with pictures. I mean, you even know the right hour to take pictures. So anyway, he was teaching me about this golden hour and said, wait for it, wait for it. When the sun is setting tech selfies, you'll see how perfect they are. So that was Chuck for you. He loved beautiful things. He loved perfect things. He loved perfect pictures, you know. Um, another thing that really stays in my memory is how he always sent me videos of himself in the club. Chuck loved to party. He loved to have a good time. And besides him being my friend, he was a fan of my music and this was genuine. It was not because he was my friend. He really, really loved my music. And every DJ would tell you when he gets there, he would ask for Juliana or Tony Braxton. 
I don't know who else. But anyway, he did. So every time they played my music, he would record himself on the video singing to my you know to my music and then he would send the videos and then i'd wake up in the morning and he sent like five videos of himself and his friends singing to my music that was chuck he was a happy person he he, he knew how to have a good time he did not hold back he enjoyed his life he went out there and had a good time but i hold on to the beautiful memories i had with him to all the great moments we had together to the work he did for me, to all those fabulous clothes he bought for me. I'll hold on to those. And um, yeah, I miss you, Chuck, and I love you. Simani, 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 Simani.